Hello everyone, it's Mighty Foxy and we're back, so let's continue on with this note. <laughs> oh, it's official. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Who's this from? It's Thomas. Okay. All right. Hmm. Seems Thomas is actually part of part of the company or in charge. Part of the documentary. Documentary. Huh. On the first page, it seems like Gustav is, is dodging a few, few questions or avoiding them. Meanwhile, on page two, Tom seems to be a rather very strict, almost lawyer level of strict. <laughs> hmm. Bet he he is actually an inside man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, Ingrid Peterson. Huh. <laughs> Ingrid looks like she's been through a recoil on a handbasket. <sighs> like she has been through quite a lot in life. She has rather extreme bags, baggage under the eyes, eyes, as well as crow's feet, feet at the corner of them. The picture was taken 1-1-1988, one, one, though she looks quite a bit Though, I'd estimate her age between 35 and 45, based upon the imagery, imagery in the picture. Give her, take a few years, based on genetics and bad habits. <clears throat> hmm. Though, who is holding this picture? Who is holding the picture? The nails are well kept. Kept. Not overly, overly nice. Pointing at either a non vain woman, or a man. Who clips his nails? <laughs> Similar to Thomas. Huh. All right, so we go back. Wait, go back in there. See if there's anything else I can gather from the background of this picture. Wait. wait. What is that? It doesn't look like too. I don't know if that just is really bad handwriting. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what is that? 
Also, what is what is that smudge? On the bottom left corner of the back side of the photo. This could be makeup. Looks like some makeup. Or maybe dried blood. Hmm. Here we go. Alrighty. Okay, let's see. Alright, so we got some. Alright, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to continue on. There it is over there. Upload. Huh. The fuck happened? I don't know. Why would Captain stay? Or maybe she's trying to protect us. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know. Why would Captain stay? Or maybe she's trying to protect us. Hmm. Who the fuck are you waiting for? What if it's all bullshit, Max? Major. What are you talking about? I don't want to publish something that turns out to be a lie. The you uploads. see everything that's happened? Yeah, and it's been amazing, but everything we've seen might just like be a natural phenomenon that can't be explained. It's not to decide. Chased or... It's not to Chased or, or hunted by... Hunted by the people. What? Keep this secret. Else gets this out there. They get all the glory. They also stick. It seems like Kathleen. I don't know. The fuck out! The fuck out! I don't know. Why would Kathleen stay? Or maybe she's trying to protect us. Alright. That's interesting. Uh, did something to protect them. Or at her own cost. I don't want to publish something that turns out to be a lie. You see what everything has happened? Yeah, and it's been amazing, but everything we've seen might just be a natural phenomenon that can't be explained. Look at the, the background. This is obviously some type of base or flop house. Make your glory. Huh. Yeah. Flop house. It has no power. Fuck I don't know. And they're oh, running an ether line. These are people people into them. Notice the lantern? What the fuck are you waiting for? The flame lantern? Oh, bullshit, Max. What are you talking about? I don't want to publish something that turns out to be a lie. You see what everything that's happened? Yeah, and it's been amazing, but Next everything we've seen might just be a natural phenomenon that can't be explained. It's up to you to decide. It's up to them. Oh. But Tom, if somebody else gets this out there, they get all the glory. Mounted. The other guy, not, not Thomas, seems to be far more interested. Interested. Just getting. Fuck out. I don't know. Why would Captain stay? Or maybe she Others seem to want the truth. Want the truth. Who the fuck are you waiting for? What if it's all bullshit, Max? What are you talking about? I don't want to publish something that turns out to be a lie. You see what everything has happened? Yeah, I just... Her state of mind. There's still more data we can research here. <laughs> okay, please, but take us through what happened. I've already done that. Alright, so it's the uh, continuation of the thing. Uh, but yes, remember the details that might have been left out? No, the shock hasn't worn off. No, of course. Wait, 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 wait. 
the lake. Why is why is the lake in thick, bold, though blurry, blurry letters? Also confused is there and her as well. He's trying to pass something off. Wait about it. Did you fight that morning? Have before you said this an argument? Yes. What happened? It doesn't matter. We were on the subject of inconsequential. We'd li like to know anyway. What were you doing? What does it have to do with my wife's death? We don't mean any disrespect, for it's just a little confused about things that happened one after another. Uh, and that's just page one. Page. So on the dialogue, it seems like Gustav is being extra shady. On page two, Hitch! 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 sorry people, <sighs> on page two we have your wife, dead, dead body, and medication. The big, bold, blurry, blurry words are your wife, wife, dead, dead body, and medication. Huh. Alright, one of the witnesses claims that you stopped him from trying to resuscitate your wife. Is that true? Yes. Why? Because she was dead. Well, why try stopping him? I know I'd give my wife CPR. Oh yeah, me too. We're not talking about you, wife. Why are you trying to say it's a little bit unusual? I know what a dead body looks like. I've studied them. I've been around them for a good part of my training at the university. Go on. What what that man was doing to my wife is a violation. The things coming up out of her, she was dead. You mentioned earlier that she had been off on and off medication. Has something to do with her death? Yes. How so? It affected her state of mind. I don't think medication's a big deal. <laughs> Why does Gustav consider CPR to be a violation on his wife? Also, just because he dissected somebody, dissected someone, doesn't mean he can spot. A brain dead, dead corpse, corpse at a glance. That usually takes takes about five minutes of being dead, <laughs> dead to dead to reach that point. Hmm. Who is the who is the good Samaritan? Samaritan that was trying trying to save Kathleen. Um. So what medications? was she on? Gustav implies they're mental, mental affecting ones, ones, though, it, huh, also, what was coming out, coming out of her mouth? That, it seems like something that should have something unnatural, unnatural based upon, upon the unease of Gustav's statement. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Actually, first off, why do the all these pages look badly photoco photocopied five or six times? Or six times over? It's a really valid and intriguing point to it. Yeah. <laughs> I know her at all, and then we can head on to 
chapter three. Okay, what the heck? Oh wow, there's a lot on this page. Uh -huh. Herschel Infrared Observatory will be in the radiation deep star formation. Let's call them huge, each spreading out of a thousand kilometers, a gas stream like jet engine and a sound barrier. The sun's pressure rose. Herschel, huh. now think if you could embed yourself on the surface, some sort of Something in Alabama. All right, most of this has been based in somewhere in the U in like Denmark and stuff. And so now they're getting involved with uh, America. Hum. Very intriguing. Very intriguing. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Most of this has been taking place in the UK and Denmark. Though suddenly, if you, if you look, if you notice, there's reference reference to Alabama. Alabama, the U.S. state, the state in NASA. It seems the probe, the probe has gathered, has gathered lots of information concerning the sun, the sun making noise. Hmm. Based on all on the new info, the sparks in the first video from the radio tower may have been been some pan-dimensional dimensional effect. Effect bleeding bleeding onto the, ra the radio tower tower in our reality. Huh. Hmm. It's intriguing as hell. Let's see. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Indeed. Hmm. Combining the combining the weird weird electrical electrical dimensional and the strange strange kidnapping kidnapping sounds from earlier. Seems like something horrible happened to Kathleen, Kathleen's mother, while Kathleen may have been in utero. In utero. <sighs> Maybe part of her connection, connection to all this, and she is from the alternate reality. Or at least a half breed. Breed. Or an alien. Alien gene thing. Hmm. We do know she was on medication as well. Maybe the medication wasn't for her brain, it was to hide something else within her, herself. Huh. Very, 
very intriguing, my friends. Very intriguing. One, a hundred billion stars. Keeps opening more stuff up. Found the hidden video. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Yeah, the Goldilocks principle. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Huh. Hmm. Entire universe. Huh. Out there, out there alone. Second century for America's observatory. Also, is of note too that they start start to suspect the CIA is spying on them. them. We get a cup. We gather a new player in the name of this Frank. Frank. Chocolate. Huh. Just an intriguing, intriguing point. Could, especially because, because they are, are, are hinting, hinting at alien life. Though, they keep pressing on the alternate dimensions thing. Granted, the supposed supposed aliens could just be ultimate alternative dimension humans with the ability ability to jump. Jump between Yeah. Frank is a new player. A player and seems very, very paranoid about the CIA. About the CIA. Insinuating. Making it seem like we now have an American. American. Involved in all this European fun. This fun which had only seemed to contain people from Europe. Hmm. It does seem like they're honing, honing in on aliens. Though well, those aliens could still be alternate, alternative dimension, dimension humans who can jump, jump between, between them. I wonder, I wonder what, what it would be. Hmm. <laughs> Let me put this on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I need a little bit of shameless, shameless self promotion there. Okay, so. This is flying on over to the park. Whoops. See if there's anything else to do that's over the top. No now we're traveling into the world of part three, my friends. Ooh, this is all interesting. Okay. All right, people, we're going to pause this episode here. Make sure to leave a like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. We'll be back soon with more Cloud Chamber.